excited. I love this lady. Oh, she's a wonderful woman. She has wonderful. had an absolutely extraordinary musical career and is loved by millions of fans, including us. Mm -hmm. I mean, we love her to pieces. Would you please welcome Happy New Year to Barbara Mandrell. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Thank you. Thanks to your wardrobe department. My <laughs> my big old bottom busted out of my pants, but you're a nice people <laughs> in the wardrobe. They sit there back there sewing her into it. Brand I didn't know new you were zipper. Say Thank you very much, the wardrobe. Uh, before you get underway, yes. you make um, you make me so proud because you do a magnificent, extraordinary job. I love your show. Thank oh, you. And you know I love you. Busy. You are doing so many things now. Weren't you recently on uh, Touch by an Angel? And, and yeah, yeah, that I think was I a little you while that. back. And, and then you did a whole bunch of other things. What were some of the other ones that uh, you did? A lot of acting. I'm loving it. I did my last musical uh, concert about a year ago. And uh, that was a major decision because that's all I'd ever known since I was 11. And um, was that tough? Oh. Yeah, I just wanted to sit down and ball like a baby on the stage that night, but... It was the official farewell mm -hmm. to music. Final one. Why? Because I just... CAA uh, started putting me on some of these episodic television shows and the acting thing, and I love it. I just feel like... Um, like I first did with, with my recording career. It's like, it's all new, it's all exciting, it's challenging, and um, I'm pretty excited like a little kid about it all. So, and tonight... The movie that I starred in for NBC is airing tonight. Oh, really? What's the name oh, of it? The Wrong Girl. Uh -huh. What's it about? Uh, she's a mother of three. Uh -huh. And uh, she has a son that had great difficulties uh, during some of his college he was trying because he has an alcohol problem. Mm -hmm, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and he, in fact, dies in this movie. Uh, and there's a girl that enters into his life be, uh, before this happens that's so mixed up, so manipulative, and causes great problems with our lovely, wonderful family. Mm -hmm. And so my character sort of becomes like a Columbo-type person. Huh. Um, yeah. Oh, jeez. Do you mm -hmm. talk like this? You know this? what? We actually yeah. have a, a clip. Coat? Shall we watch our clip? You don't wear the, the coat or okay. anything like Columbo, do you? Uh, next time. Next time. Okay. <laughs> okay. Here we go. I don't understand. Kelly, I can't say this any more clearly. It's not your responsibility to make our son's funeral arrangements. You and Jim have been so devastated. I thought this would be helpful. Yeah, well, I'm sure you meant well, but burying our son is a family matter. Right, and this is how a family pulls together, right? Everyone pitches in. I'm sorry, Kelly, but you are not a member of this family. <laughs> Did you study acting? No, I didn't study acting. Just, just strictly just from heart. All heartfelt. Mm -hmm. I love the fact also, if I may mention, tomorrow night, mm. um, you know, the Lifetime Network, yes. they did intimate portrait on me, and so they sent me a copy. I'm so proud Are of it. Are you proud of it? Oh, oh that's, that's great. Because so nice. all three of, Ken, my husband, yeah. and all three of our children, and my sisters Louise and Earlene, and my parents, and my friend Dolly Parton and Leanne Rhymes, and then a friend that I hadn't seen for a long time, but Patty Duke, she narrated it. But all the rest of us are in it, and they talk about me, and it just melted oh, my heart great. to hear some of the things they said. And um, Oh, I can't wait to see that. You know, we've got to take a commercial break right now, but uh, when we come back, I want to find out what's going on with Louise and uh, Earlene. Earlene, yeah. See okay. what they're up to. So stay with us. We'll be right back right after this. <laughs> Coming up, Homicide's Giancarlo Esposito, and later, a performance by the Swedish group The Cardigans. I'm losing my We get everybody involved in this. Glenn's so sleeping single. single. Camera. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, Glenn! <laughs> okay, 
Louise? Come on, Glenn, Nerling. say hi in the booth. It's New Year's. Hi in the booth, it's New Year's. Hi, okay. <laughs> Uh, Louise Mandrell has her own theater in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, and it's magnificent. Mm -hmm. um, That's she does where a Dolly's huge, place is, yes, isn't it? where Dollywood is, and, mm -hmm. and Louise does a really magnificent, terrific, big production thing, and she loves it. Erlene, oh, she's doing lots of things, but she's also racing cars. She told me one day when she called, she she hit the wall, and she said, you know, it, and that devastated me. I mean, I. What do you mean you hit know, the wall with a car? Yeah. You know, when they hit the wall. Well, because that mean, that, that's also a saying, when you hit no, the wall. No, she hit the wall. Oh, okay. And, wow. and she said, but you know, I guess it was a good thing because uh, it showed me that I could walk away from it. <laughs> really? What a great thing to know. <laughs> she, she's... No, no. But I like you this really because pretty, I race cars. she's so no. blonde. Really. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Be careful because there's a lot of blondes watching. Well, she's my nice son. You can't, you my can get away son with Nathan brought me home a thing from school that had all these blonde jokes. He says, Mom, can I tell you all these? So I'm cool so with the blonde. So you're cool with the blonde. I know how okay. smart I am. Hey, listen, she ain't no dumb blonde. Look at this ring on her finger. Well, thank you. Check that out. Thank you. Hey, carrots? you know, ten, ten how carrots? many carrots? Uh, it's ten carrots. Perfect uh, ten. It wasn't my first wedding ring. My first one was one third of a carrot, but you wouldn't believe the ugly things I had to do to get that. <laughs> Why? Can you fill us in a little Why? bit? You'd think being married 31 years would be enough, but no. When, like? Like? Like, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Just give us one. <laughs> no way. Just one. Oh. No. <laughs> Just a little teeny one. Oh, they look one. like they were really good, though. Were they good? Oh, he is good. <laughs> Why do you think I've kept him so long? Woo! It's a little hot in here. <laughs> well, he's an ex-Navy pilot. And, uh -huh. and uh, what does that guys. mean? They're good guys. They're good guys. They're... He's... Oh, let's change the subject. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, speaking of incredible log houses... Oh. Oh, yeah, he, yeah. You yeah, have he, the most fabulous house. Thank in you. Nashville. Come and buy it. It's for sale. It's huge. Is it really? It's over 27,000 square feet. Wow. It's, it's huge. Big. And I mean, I, I used to live in Nashville. And I mean, this thing, it's just unbelievable. It's so Is it right in the heart of the city? We're 20 minutes from downtown Nashville and 15 minutes from the airport. But we, it, it's, it's a it's valley. It's unbelievable. Ooh. It's the most. Do you have, oh, isn't it pretty? Is, is that solar? Now, is that all an atrium? No, is that, is that an atrium? No, it, there's an indoor pool and uh, ki another second kitchen down there and a men's and women's restroom. And You mean the glass yeah, part? The glass yeah, part. the glass part. Yeah, it's a beautiful house. Why are you selling it? Well, when we built it, we had Matthew and Jamie Nicole and Nathan at home and us. And now we only have Nathan and Ken and I. And there's like 13 bathrooms and yeah, you just don't six bedrooms. Mm -mm. uh -huh. We feel kind of silly. So it's for sale. And then we'll build again, maybe like 10,000 square foot or Marie's something. Marie's got 17 children. Why don't you buy that? You uh -huh. really should. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, my Jamie Nicole is living now in New York. She she's, is a actress. Yeah, she's on, on as the world soap. tour. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. That's, oh, I'm oh, so cool. proud of her because I mean, I knew she had talent when she was four years old. She played on my TV series as a the little actress playing her aunt Erlene uh -huh. that drives the race cars. Mm. Uh -huh. <laughs> but she now, uh, you know, I watched her on several things. Then she started doing this soap, and and I'm the toughest critic that there is. Mm. So when I tell you how great you are, you can bet, you can bank on it. You, uh -huh. I mean it. But she is, really I'm really, I'm so Are you a perfectionist? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a perfectionist who never does anything even close to perfect, but I try. Yeah. I, f I find a lot of people in the business are very, per very much perfectionist-oriented type people, so. You know what? I know you said that you would, wouldn't sing again last year. But well, no, no, she sings. Well, her uh, concerts. Well, I did in it concerts. in a couple, like, a, like. That touched by an angel, I had to sing. I was a. But I know. I mean, you, I do it. But, I, but, 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 but when you say that, I mean, it's only like special things. Will you sing with me? Yeah. With you. Yeah. Yeah. With me. Not here. How could I? No, you should sing. But you know what? You, please sing my favorite song that you ever did because. I was country when country yes, wasn't were. cool. Yes, you were. Great song. You know, with Great paper song. roses and those kinds of songs. I mean, I love that song. Should we do the, the chorus? And I'll come into the harmony. 
I was country. Thank you. When country wasn't cool. Yes, you were, baby. Yes, I was country. From my hat down to my boots. And then let's see, what is it? How's it go? Um, now I still I'm act and look the same. What you see ain't nothing new. Cause I was country. When country wasn't cool. I haven't sung except in church. Yeah. Yeah. Barbara, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you. Thank you. Love you too. Next, Homicide's Giancarlo Esposito.